types of mobile apps. Apps provide specific functionality to your mobile and tablet devices in a more simple and user-friendly manner. We use so many applications on our mobile device to perform different types of tasks. Generally, these apps can be divided into three types which are native, web and hybrid. Let us learn about these in detail. Native apps Native apps are platform dependent which means that these apps are primarily developed for a specific platform. For example, any app which is developed for iOS will not run on any other platform such as Android, Windows and Blackberry. In other words, you cannot install the app on iOS platform which is developed for Android platform. Most of the apps installed on your mobile device are native app. These apps are distinctly accessible from app stores and offer the fastest, most reliable and most responsive experience to users. Some of the examples of native apps are camera, microphone, gallery and address book. However, there are some alternatives also available for these apps, but using native apps is easiest. Web apps Web apps are actually web applications which give a user with experience similar to native apps. These apps are not deployed on the App Store. Hence, you need an extra app called Browser to access these apps on your mobile device. You also need an internet connection to work with web apps. These apps are generally developed in HTML and CSS. Web apps are different from websites. The major difference is that a web app can be a small part of a website which provides a particular functionality. On the other hand, a website can contain many web apps. Some of the examples of the web apps are OLX, Flipkart and Pinterest. Hybrid apps the app that is created by combining the features of native app and web app is called a hybrid app. Similar to native app, hybrid app is developed for a specific platform and deployed on the app store. You need to install the hybrid app before using it on your mobile. Hybrid app can be created by using many hardware features of your device such as camera and developed by using HTML and CSS similar to web app. Nowadays, developers use development tools to package the code of the hybrid app with a browser to make it as a native app. In this way, hybrid apps become cross-platform which means that the same code can be run on multiple platforms. This technique saves the development time and cost also. Some of the examples of the hybrid apps are Instagram, Gmail and Twitter. Categories of Apps Apps have become an integral part of our life. Nowadays, people are using mobiles for many purposes such as communicating, learning, teaching and playing games. This leads to the development of several types of apps. As you know, Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store are the two most popular app stores. These stores contain different types of apps which are further categorized in various categories. Gaming apps. Today's most popular category of mobile apps is gaming's apps, which shares more than 24% area of the app store. Gaming apps allow us to improve our cognitive skills such as attention and focus. Some of the gaming apps allow children to learn while playing. These apps also allow us to play games with other friends and share scores on social media. The most commonly used gaming apps are PUBG, Candy Crush Saga and Angry Birds. Productivity apps Productivity apps, also known as business apps, used by businessmen to perform several complex tasks. These apps allow businessmen to do their work more effectively. The most commonly used productive apps are Google Calendar, Evernote and Dropbox. 
Entertainment apps. Entertainment apps are developed to entertain the people. These apps allow users to watch videos, post photos, search upcoming events, etc. The main purpose of the entertainment apps is to keep their users engaged. Gaming apps also entertain users, but they are different from entertainment apps. The most commonly used entertainment apps are Netflix, Talking Tom, and YouTube. Utility apps. Utility apps allow us to do our daily tasks such as booking a cab, booking a railway ticket, booking an appointment with doctor, sharing files and performing calculations. These apps make our work easy. The most commonly used utility apps are Share It, Calculator and Flashlight. Educational apps. Today's world is more cautious about self-education. Educational apps provide a platform for children to learn from anywhere and anytime. These apps use advanced methodologies and new concepts to make the learning easier. Some of the educational apps help teachers to support their teaching process. The most commonly used educational apps are Khan Academy, Vedantu and Grammar EN. Social networking apps. Social networking apps allow us to connect with friends and family members. The main motive of these apps is to keep track on life of your friends, family and some other people whom you do not meet regularly. By using social networking apps, you can share your personal and professional views photos and videos. Some people also use these apps to expand their business and spread their products all over the world. The most commonly used social networking apps are Facebook, LinkedIn and WhatsApp. Communication apps. Communication apps allow us to communicate with each other by sending and receiving messages, information and opinions in the form of texts, videos and audios. These apps also allow us to see the face of the person whom you are talking to. The most commonly used communication apps are Skype, Hike and FaceTime. E-commerce app E-commerce means to buy or sell products on an online service over the internet. E-commerce apps allow us to buy or sell products while sitting at home or any other place. Amazon is the leading online marketplace which provides an excellent shopping experience to their users. Some other examples of the e-commerce apps are Paytm and Groffers.